Hey guys, I'm back at college now. It's already exam time of second semester. I haven't talked to you guys since I was back home for winter break and I told myself that I was gonna film more of college life so you guys could see. So I'm gonna be vlogging function night. I am part of a sorority and with that comes different functions throughout the years. So this function is Valentine's Day themed. It says Zeta and Tried Out function and I think that'll be so fun because we haven't had a function yet that was with another sorority. I'm excited to have like more people there and dress up again. It's basically like homecoming. Feels like it because like I kind of go barefaced for the most part throughout the day. I'm just tanned even though you really can't tell that much I feel like. And you just have that anticipation of getting to do something tonight. I really didn't do a whole lot of prepping but that's what I'm going to be showing you guys because my nails need done my toes need done i literally just picked out what dress i'm wearing today i'm doing so much laundry literally that's literally my laundry timer i'm cleaning a ton getting my life back together i need to do some studying and then i literally have a 6 30 class today until 7 45. time to go do some laundry so let's get this day started yeah i think that's who am I that I would push back? Is that the loving thing you made a bit for me to lie in? You know, I'm trying. It's a good thing we never look back, and that's a salty sting. You paved the road for me to walk on. Get out of the I have put off doing my laundry for so long, so I literally did four loads today. I did my athletic clothes, and then I did two loads of just regular colors, basically, and then I did a load of whites. I have this new technique of like doing all my athletic stuff at one time because I've been going to the gym, so like I have enough to do like a full load of just athletic clothing because I don't put that through the dryer, so. Literally the whole entire rack is just athletic stuff. It makes it easy because then you can just take it all out of the washer and not have to like separate it. By the way, I've gone to the gym. I'm on my fourth week in a row of going. And I actually haven't gone today, which is like concerning because like that's going to be the first day that I miss. But I don't think I'm going to miss it because I really need to go. But I just have so much to do. And I've only been to classes today. So I'm just like trying to get everything done in time and be super productive. So it's been a second since I've last updated you guys, but basically I went to Walmart with my roommate and another one of my friends and we just got some groceries and stuff. And then came back, ate dinner, and I was gonna try to take a power nap because I'm literally exhausted, but I had a coffee instead. Now I have class that I have to go to. It's from 6.30 to 7.45 and uh, yeah, I dread it. I didn't think it was gonna be so bad. And like, it's not horrible. It's just like times like this, it's just a really inconvenient time. I have to go learn some data analysis. I have to leave in like 20 minutes. Ow. Oh my gosh, I forgot to paint my nails and my toes. That was like a big thing on my to-do list too. They're tragic. So maybe I should do that. I was gonna go hang out with my friends until I had to leave, but I think I need to paint my nails so they can dry while I'm in class. Cause I can do my toes when I come back and I can dry while I get ready, but I have to wear shoes to class. Good, Ashlyn, good. My nails are actually pretty long right now. They just look kind of bad. Y'all, I'm literally walking to class as my nails are wet. But they look good. Especially with proportions because you're all- Oh my- I'm stressed, but I'm so ready to just get ready and look <laughs> good. Having class at this time was probably the worst thing because all I was thinking about was coming back and getting ready. And then I got back after running down the hill to get here and the plans changed and 
I don't know. I thought I had to be ready in 30 minutes there for a sec, but we have a little bit of time, so all is well. Basically, the look that we're going for is just about the same thing as I always do. My go-to kind of going out glam look is as follows. It's basically just a really nice bronzy base, and then I like to do a little bit of smoky and then a little bit of like a shadow shadow wing action and then I like to do waterproof mascara when I go out to like these types of functions just because I'm gonna be out for a while and it actually makes my eyelashes stay up and then it looks more like I have fall season I don't know it just looks better <laughs> <laughs> we got the bunny looking ears on now it's like those TikToks where people just pull out random stuff and just put on their heads yeah I've had this thing forever and it literally works so well for this. So you know what? I'm gonna look crazy for a sec. Also, let's talk about how the good this light is that I got. It's this. Before, I only had this, and it's just like, like it's good, but it wasn't like big enough. And this one has different settings, but I liked like the yellow light. It's from Amazon. I have on my storefront, and it's awesome. Anyway, I just got kind of the base down, so I used my Fit Me Concealer, the Milk, bronzer stick which I love and then the milk blush and then I did a little pressed powder action with this puff and now I'm gonna add the powder version of literally everything I just did so I always use the hula bronzer I've gone through so many of these it's just always been a staple in my collection it's gonna bronze up again make sure we stay bronzed I did self tan my whole body so it needs to just be all cohesive I'm gonna hold off on the blush for now and do my eyebrows. I used to use this like Anastasia brow gel, but I switched over to this on days that I just want my eyebrows to, I don't even know. It's the brow freeze. Definitely holds them, which is different. But I got this like the set, so it came with the spoolie too and a brow powder, but I just don't really do my brows like that. See, it does look very good. It like sticks them down. This is so weird. I have not done a get ready with me for a while, for one. And then also I've never done a get ready with me in here because I actually don't have my roommate in here right now, which she has a function tonight too for her sorority. And she just has like other plants. So I'm in here alone. And I was just jamming out just music and just listening to my own thoughts. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay, I think, blush palette. I literally mixed like three different shades. Also today, we're not scared of looking a little bit more pink because it is Valentine's Day function. A little more pink is not that terrible, but obviously like you don't want to go too much because I'm looking a little crazy right now. I swear, the first thing to go on my face is my blush and bronzer so i'll probably reapply like at the end because it just always like it disappears once i have everything else on my face for eyes i'm gonna start off with this again i do this on the daily as well but i'm just gonna put some bronzer to start the base also time check it's 8 16 so once i'm done with this i'm just gonna run the straightener through my hair make it just pin straight Here's the thing about Valentine's Day attire. It's tragic because I look bad in pink and red. Those are two of like the colors I just really never wear, which is kind of ironic because I literally go to the University of Arkansas, which is red. It's just this function in particular because there's gonna be a lot of like red and pink dresses. And I actually had this really cute red dress that I brought back from my house it's actually my sister's and it was just really cute and yeah i just didn't like how it clashed with my hair color <laughs> i am borrowing one of my friend's dresses we have these cute little valentine's day beads that one of my friends brought so we're just gonna add those and that's gonna be our color instead of a whole red dress then this is the anastasia soft glam palette this has been around forever <laughs> i brought it to college with me because it has all these neutral colors and you can do a lot with it, simple or bold. Here's the thing, I did bring my James Charles palette to college, but I've never even used it here. And I thought it was gonna be awesome because I had all these colors. Um, What else do I need to do? I think I'm gonna add a little bit of a darker color. All I did was this burnt orange color, but I think I'm gonna do a little bit of this before I do the wing. Also, I'm connecting all of these colors on my lower lash line just because the wing is kind of gonna follow that, if that makes sense. 
All right, we're getting pretty dark. So I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Next, what I wanna do, curl my eyelashes. Yeah. We're actually doing this pretty fast. A tip when doing a shadow wing or any wing in general is to curl your eyelashes before because then you can kind of see how your eyelashes are gonna lay once you have your mascara on. And then I feel like the wing just kind of follows your eyelashes better and it just looks more natural. What I'm gonna do is mix these two right here. It's like a dark and a light brown shade and just go for it. Well, that was pretty good, I think. Also, this is the same brush I used for my eyebrows. It's supposed to be an eyebrow brush, but it literally, I found it makes doing these wings the easiest because it's just like a really good brush. And that's that. I just don't trust myself with real eyeliner. Also, I just think like a nice dark brown does it for me. Oh, another thing I was gonna do. I'm just gonna put whatever's left on the brush, kind of right here, right in our corner. I'm gonna do some mascara and I'll be back. Mascara just does it for me. It just makes everything better. Another thing I did do off camera was add this black waterproof eyeliner on my upper like tight line and then I did my waterline with some white. I don't know if I love the white, but I think it'll go better once I have my dress on. I'm gonna add this Anastasia Amrezi highlighter. This is just what's gonna finish the look. Inner corners and brow bone and nose and cheekbones. Oh, I guess we can't forget lips either. I definitely didn't think of that. I'll probably do that once my outfit's on. See, here's one thing about me. I'm always gonna put bronzer on again at the end. I'm just going to. Every time. And then after you do that, you just have to put another little swipe of blush. Just like one little. Makeup is done besides lips. Now I'm gonna have to figure out how to make my hair look good after I had a headband in today. And that thing. My hair is just not laying cute. But I'm gonna straighten it. We'll see how that goes. Sorry, we literally haven't moved out of this spot. This is just really where everything is for me. But here's the thing. <laughs> just gonna do that just a little bit. Just a little bit. My hair basically is just like really flat. So I'm probably just gonna be like tucking it tonight. Maybe just do this to the rest of my hair. <laughs> that did it. I could like completely do it, like like tie it kind of like that, but I don't think I'm going to. I just showered recently and I don't want tomorrow to have to be a hair washing day, you know what I mean? I think we look put together. I don't want to put on heels, I really don't, but for pictures, I might have to. I'm gonna go brush my teeth and then we're gonna do some lips. Basically, you can see everything better in the bathroom because I have a communal bathroom. The white eyeliner basically just ties it all together, I feel like, because the white dress. This brand, Project Lip, sent me a couple of items a little bit ago and it's really good because this stuff, I feel like, actually lasts sometimes. The Too Faced Lip Injections, it works in the moment. Sometimes it just doesn't, like, stay. I feel like my lips just... Like, I don't feel it after a while. This, I feel. I guess that's the primer. So I put that on, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of this liner for a little bit of color. This is the top part that you put on. The Tingle Extreme. <laughs> it seriously does. I think we're ready. I think we're ready. <laughs> Minus the shower shoes that I have on right now. It's the final look. These are the heels, so cute. Um, they do hurt after a bit. I also have red heels that my roommate is letting me borrow if I want. I just don't know if the pop of color is my thing. <sighs> it's Valentine's, but like, I really want, I really want it. I think I'm gonna do these, because they tie in a little bow, and I think that's girly and like valentines -y. Sure. And I think that the shoes I'm gonna change into are just my white high top Converse. Super classy, I know. I got my bag of everything I need and basically just has shoes in it, 
two different pairs of shoes. I have my black leather Converse high top. And then I also have heels in case we need to take pictures. But this is like technically what your date is supposed to wear. I'm just gonna bring it. We'll see if we even get pictures, honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna go. But I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me. Sorry, it was literally so hectic. I was stressed, but I'm gonna go now. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.